What is coaching? It's a great question. And simply put, coaching is a guided partnership between you and your coach to help you really truly clarify what it is you want to achieve and then what's the right way for you to do that. What I mean by that is when we get into fields like mentoring, counseling, therapy, even talking to friends, they can be very directive. You need to do step one, two, and three, if you want to get to where I am today, as an example. Now, step one may go great. Step two may go okay. And maybe we get to step three, and it's terrible. It doesn't work. We don't enjoy it at all. And then that maybe breaks down that relationship. You know, hey, Steve, that was terrible advice, and I'm never going to listen to you again. Now, I'm not saying that happens all the time. But it's important to note that within coaching, finding the right way is different because it's not going to be dictated by your coach. It's gonna be brought out of you by your coach. So you're going to work together to figure out, well, what actually feels like this is a good step for me to take? What actually excites me to do? What really aligns with what I would like to do, what I want to do, my strengths? Because when we have all of that, we are inherently more motivated to actually take that action and truly bring about what we want. So that's what we mean by, finding the right way for you. Now, I understand that that's still a little bit vague. What does that really mean? Simply put, you and your coach are just going to have a conversation, and your coach is going to be using specifically crafted questions to help elicit information from you, greater awareness, greater clarity. As an example, I want to get to the next level of my career, a very common goal people have. But what does that actually mean? Do you want to get to the director level, vice president, or be a CEO? Do you want to be over a specific line of business? Is there a specific balance in there for you? I want greater work-life balance. What does this really, truly, specifically look like? The conversation is going to help bring that out from you, clarify it, and then figure out what that strategic right way is to actually make that happen for you. So simply just a conversation with questions by your coach crafted specifically to do that. Now, as far as what does coaching cover? The answer is anything and everything. But I'll give you some typical examples. In the corporate field, there's a lot of typical examples of, do I want to get to that next level? What does that actually really look like? What kind of leader do I want to be? How do I have difficult conversations and give feedback or performance reviews? that are maybe adversarial in a better way? How do I motivate employees, for example? Or I want greater work-life boundaries, uh, excuse me, I want greater work-life balance and to put into place boundaries so I'm not answering my email, say at 8 p.m. or at 3 a.m. in the morning. Those are some common things that people bring to coaching. And the importance there is it can actually be work-related, but it can also be personal-related. Anything and everything is on the table. Just because this is offered, say, through work doesn't mean that we have to cover solely work-related items. We could get into sleeping better. We can get into nutrition, to exercise, multiple things on, say, the personal front or how to really overcome maybe a challenge I'm having, say, with a sibling and make that a better, stronger relationship. Those are just some common things as topics and areas that coaching can cover. Now I'll say within that, there's really a couple key things that I find coaching truly gets to the heart of. No matter what those goals are, one or more of these four areas always becomes really kind of the key focus and at the heart of coaching. The first one is believing in ourselves, right? building confidence and overcoming limiting beliefs or negativity. And that could be negative people and the effect that they have on us. That's area number one. Area number two is really communicating more effectively and building strong relationships. So in that performance review example I gave, it's, man, I've got this adversarial direct reporter, this adversarial person. Every time I talk to them, it's always like pulling teeth. They're defensive. How do I really actually have a collaborative, engaging conversation that brings it down from here to here so we can actually talk together versus at each other? That's area number two. 
The third area, I touched upon this at the beginning, is really clarity, clarity of our goals. What does it truly specifically mean when I say I want to get to that next level? And what's the actual strategic plan that I can create that's easy for me to walk one manageable step at a time to truly bring about that goal? That's area number three. And then the fourth and the final area is efficiency, productivity. Great example, throughout COVID, I'm overworked. There's a lot of different changing priorities. I've got 500 emails that are coming in. There's a lot of different Slack channels I have open and I've got to respond to those. I am just overwhelmed and buried with everything that's on my plate. How do I really dig into that, manage my time, create boundaries, prioritize, delegate, and really truly maximize what's going to make me successful, our efficiency, our productivity? That's really area number four. I find coaching truly gets to the heart. So I hope this explains more detailed and more helpfully what coaching is, what it isn't, a couple ideas of what we can cover together, and what's really kind of underneath that for us to truly be successful. So I'm looking forward for you to go on this journey with us and to help you achieve your goals. So until the next time, be the movement in your life.